actually happy to report, you know, able to uh, to come to the backyard and give you this outdoor uh, summer forecast. You know, we really wanted to invite all of New Mexico into the backyard to just do something different for the summer. You know, just give you that that sort of relaxed feel that, you know, at least the kids get to uh, experience during the summer months. But right now, um, I, I got to tell you, I'm, I'm seeing more cloud cover overhead. So as I look to the north, I can see that it's pretty much overcast there. Uh, judging by my Rio Rancho sky cam, you can see that there's a pretty solid deck of clouds over the Sandia Mountains. Not a lot of rain, though. I mean, we're looking at uh, some pretty rough stuff in the northeastern part of the state, but not here. If you see me swatting, it's the mosquitoes because they start getting kind of hungry right around this time of year or right around this time of day as well. Let's take a look at uh, what we're trying to find is, well, any sort of rain around Albuquerque. It looks like we have some gusty outflows trying to collide near at least west parts of Rio Rancho and then up toward the northern Sangre de Cristo Mountains and certainly out toward the northeastern area of the state where you can see Tucumcari and areas along the Texas border are getting some pretty raucous storms. That is cooling things down as well. You can see the temperatures out there near Clayton in the far northeastern corner of the state. 71 degrees there. 92 in Santa Fe and uh, high 90s right here within the Albuquerque Metro and that heat advisory is still in effect at least for the next um, uh, 30 40 minutes or so. So for tonight I'm expecting those rain showers to sort of evaporate to move out toward Texas. Then we get to what I'm going to call a monsoon surge. That is really going to be creating, unfortunately, some uh, high fire danger or even even higher flood danger, I should say, for those burn scars. You know, it's that fire and then the floods that come that really cause this situation. So for tomorrow, as you can see, uh, Burn scars one through three, which are all in the northern mountains, Hermit's Peak, Calf Canyon, and of course the Cerro Palado in the Jemez Mountains are going to be at a very high risk. But if you look at this graphic, you can see that really tomorrow through Thursday, it's going to be a day to watch for all those burn scars. Now, as we start looking toward tomorrow, that flood threat will also come to central New Mexico. So we're talking Santa Fe and Albuquerque, uh, and where we could see some urban flooding, we certainly have before this season, and it could happen again. For Thursday, it's going to be another round of some monsoon showers. The atmosphere is really loaded up with a lot of moisture. So if you think about it in terms of a gas tank, the gas tank is full. Now the storms will be causing all that rain to fall, and in some cases, uh, too much at one time, especially as we get toward Friday. So what I'm expecting across the southeast for tomorrow is going to be some concern for flooding for the Ruidoso area. Otherwise, for areas like Roswell, I'm expecting uh, decent rain chances for the next few days. Across the southwest, I'm expecting, you know, it's going to be kind of a hot day for areas like Deming. But in the higher elevations, we're going to start to get some thunderstorms developing during the afternoon uh, through the northwest. It's going to be another mostly sunny start to the day. As far as rain chance goes, it's going to be increasing as we head toward the weekend for Farmington. So still remaining relatively dry. And for the North Mountains, I'm anticipating 70s in the mountains uh, and some 80s for areas like Santa Fe with very strong monsoon rain chances for the next several days. The Northeast for tomorrow also looking promising in regards to rain, but also that could be bringing uh, a severe threat with it, along with flooding. These mountains for tomorrow, I'm looking mostly at some 80s. Uh, we're probably going to get to the heat of the day first before those storms build overhead within the Albuquerque metro. So it's still going to be kind of a hot and muggy day because of the increase in that humidity. But look at Rio Rancho and Albuquerque, for that matter. We're looking at very big rain chances for the next several days. That's all I have out here. Here's a look at what my colleague meteorologist Alan Shoemaker is working on. Well, we're 30 days into the monsoon season and we look at this map. This is a rainfall map since June 15th and that's a departure from normal. So we're talking how much above and below normal the rainfall was and the blues indicate some wet areas, especially around Las Vegas and around San Miguel County. Some of the northwestern counties and that little dot of heavy rain has been around Ruidoso, but some areas have been very dry. So check the link over here for a more in-depth explanation or visit our KOB4 Facebook page because more rain is in the forecast.